Okay, now we're ready to enter tram station B. I think we are. Um, let's check out the security panel. And door locked due to atmosphere control. Override lock and open door, yes. It worked. Alright, on to the next area. Still alive? And John is like, all right, let's do it. Come on, you should be more excited. She could be dead. Um, so there's a bunch of blood over here. Very bad. And this seems more inviting. So let's go here first. And what it's like when you uh, when you go over a light source in this game, it flares up. It's nice. It's a nice touch. Specimen transport. Specimen transport. Like in the tube. There's a specimen transport container. Black resin permeates through small perforations in the crate walls. And there's a switchboard. And we have a spec another container. A faint scratching noise is coming from the plastic box. Okay, let's go with this one first. Limb regeneration. Alright, so this is a puzzle. Limb regeneration. How do I do this? This is not clickable yet. Or... No. I don't think so. Maybe this one? Nope, doesn't do anything yet. Let's try the other one. Project Kitchen Knife. And this one is Project Kitchen Knife. Alright, the two, two projects. I can't do anything with this as well. Um, I guess we'll have to do it on the switchboard. No destination set. Okay, we have to arrange the shapes matching to the um, specimens, I guess. Alright, let's do this one first. Limb regeneration. Uh, let me see. What do I make of this? Do I need to memorize it? There are three things. Just trying to memorize them. They're kind of hard to memorize, so let's start with the first two. Or maybe even the first. Uh, was this it? Maybe I should take a picture with my phone. Let me do that. Hold on a second. Alright, I took a picture. Now, exit. Let's try this again. Okay, the first one is wrong already, so let's... This is the first one. Um, nope. This one is the second, and the third one should be this one, I think. Can we set it? Let me just double check if it's correct. Yeah, it must be. Uh, so how do I set it? Maybe click on this. Okay. Now what do I do? Uh, 
I'm not entirely sure. It doesn't open or anything. Okay, let's try the other room first. Maybe I'm missing I miss something here. The blood room. What do you mean? Can you fix it? No. No, I don't think so. <laughs> there is no other way out of there. There has to be. Let me look around. Fuck, this is all falling apart. <laughs> John is right, this isn't operational. So there's a destroyed tram, the gnarled wreckage of twisted steel sits hazardously in wait. And. Another specimen transport container. The plastic container has seen its fair share of use. The sealed lid of the container is caked in a reeking green mold. And a skull and crossbones warning sticker peels up at its edges, indicating that this container was once used to transport dangerous cargo. So there are three more of them. Maybe only a select certain amount lead to somewhere. Uh, what else? A corpse is Roger Kellen. Not much left of him. He was a quartermaster. And I guess that's it. Let me check this out. Project Seed. What? Oh, nothing. Just reading out loud. Okay, so we have other other ones. Project Seed, and this one is. This one was for hydroponics. Hydroponics. Medical Bay. This is it. I guess he should go to Medical Bay only. I'm not sure. So let's make a picture of this one. And let's enter it into the um, machine in the other room. Okay. Here we go. Um, all right, I have it before me. Let's switch him up. Second one. Uh, is this it? No. This one should be it. The third one. Is this one? Now it's set. Medical Bay. Okay. Now, can we go there? It opens, so let's head in. And I wonder if we can go to, like, Project Seed and Hydroponics and stuff. And we will need to go there anyway. But, um, yeah. Let's just look at the Medical Bay. This is either brilliant or very, very stupid. Quantum devices are not permitted in specimen storage. Quarantine procedures initiated. Quantum storage device reset. Okay, let's see what we can see. It definitely looks like the medical facilities. I think I'm on the right track. Yeah, you're on the medical bay level one. Your daughter is four decks below you. She is so close, John. So close. No matter how far. Okay, so he traveled 
with crate uh, through the tube inside a medical bay. He's at level one. His daughter is at level four. Anyway, let's explore this. This is a specimen drop-off tube. Stenciled on one side of this tube are the words specimen receiving. And I think this was the only way to go because I can't go back. Um, shut down terminals. These terminals control various elements of this apparatus, but every single one of them is dead. Machinery. This machinery may run diagnostics on the specimens arrive via the tube. Hanging wires due to non-public access. Not much care was taken to secure those exposed wires. So even if we could to the other, go to the other areas, or let me phrase it like, maybe I should have should have gone to the other areas, but I'm not sure if it was possible. Anyway, I'm here now. Alright, that was an awkward conversation with Dr. Milan. He's crazy. And I guess we're no there are no PDTs to be scanned here. Something Thea said. Uh, we have loose wires, the cables and wires hang freely from the wall paneling, and engineers' work appears to have been suddenly interrupted. Crate, this crate is locked and not opening anytime soon. Yuka Cola vending machine. This vending machine has been knocked over, but probably not by an employee. The Kane Corporation certainly didn't subsidize the price of these sodas. Uh, good old Yuka Cola banned in several colonies. Yuka Cola is highly addictive, absurdly potent blast of sugar and stimulants. And. Um, the way that the doctor talked just now reminds me a bit of the combination of the audio and the ambience of the first Metal Gear Solid. Um, I play Metal Gear Solid Phantom Pain at the same time, so maybe that's why I'm thinking of it. Awesome game, by the way. Um, Bloodstains. Not one body can be seen amid the debris. What's with all the blood everywhere? <laughs> Come on. Uh, dark blood splatters the walls, but most disturbing is the lack of any cadavers among the gore-soaked carnage. Great. What do you have here? A glass door. The view through this sliding glass door is obscured by dried red jets of liquid. Ooh, what could that be? Blood, but no bodies. Okay, let's... Okay. Did that come out of the machine? Come on, that's annoying. Now we have a Yuka Cola. Drink it, John. It's healthy. I think that will just break it. Why? Because you would open it? Never liked Yuka Cola. <laughs> Do we have to push it through the window? Whoa! What the hell just happened? Indentation in the floor. This section of the floor features a rectangular indentation. It's strangely clean in comparison 
with the other blood spattered sections of floor. Exposed duct. Shredded metal ties reveal a surface duct below. Because that's what's the point, and I can do something with the hanging wire. Don't get electrocuted. Now we have loose cables. This isn't going to work. Okay, let's fall down here. Um, where is Jono over here? So now we're creeping inside of a tunnel. Again, Metal Gear style. There's a dead body. This was no safe haven for this poor soul. Found the body too. It's pretty bloody up. Again, a name ending with son, Stephen Dryson. May 18, more power outages today. Damn it. I thought they had a lid on that. People have been way crankier than usual. One of my boys just broke down today, shaking and scratching like he was suffering from withdrawal or something. I checked with the nurses who examined him, and it seems like there was some sort of drug in his system, moonshine. He swore blind he wasn't dirty, and hadn't been talking, taking anything. But they're already preparing a tri tribunal for the poor guy. The thing is, I believe him. Everybody's been acting a bit peculiar lately. November 6, what's happening to my beautiful ship? That crap is growing up the spine of this baby like a cancer. I keep mailing Dr. Milan about this, but he hasn't responded to any of my messages. I know he's reading them because I get more of those stooges from hydroponics down to collect samples whenever I send more than a few words his way. I managed to corner his assistant the other day and demanded to know we'd be getting our share of the rations. She looked at me like she hadn't slept in a week and said, soon. None of us are sleeping properly. I try to greet, greet each day with a smile, but the wrenches are getting panicky if not mutinous. I spend my time breaking up fights instead of maintaining the engines. I was thinking of taking a group down to the engine ports and torching that shit of the hull, but I'm worried it's too late for that now. And yeah, Dr. Milan, what is his deal? And uh, this is, was like a captain or something of the ship? He has long updates. December 20, no more engineers, no more hope. When you take those things away, you got nothing left. I'm dictating this wedge under the main security terminal. I don't think any of those things will hear me. The rest of the survivors are holed up in the bulkheads, but nobody was willing to risk leaving until we had some sort of protection. I pointed out we'd either starve or die anyway, so they voted overwhelmingly for me to try and get help. So I came down here through one of the maintenance access tunnels and programmed the security terminal to mark any individuals with their PDT still implanted as hostiles. They should at least get the turrets on our side. I'm not sure it'll work. But it's all I could do. So that was you. I'm alone now. Hell, I'm used to it. Never met the right girl and all that. I'm pretty sure I heard Lotus screaming, you know. They're probably all dead now, but I can't know for sure. I could hear those things peeling panels of the floor and walls like they were paper, and I'll be damned if they'll find me cowering under the floor like that. Guy Fox jumped with the noose around his neck when he was about to be executed. Did you know that? Okay. They were going to half strangle him and then rip him to pieces, but he cheated the executioners, breaking his own neck before they could carry on torturing him. I'm going to do likewise. Got a gun for my protection, see? Only one bullet left, but no matter, I'll only need one. And that's it. Uh, there are some notices and reports. Personal data tags, Dr. L. Rajak Rajkupar, an Indian. To all staff, uh, dear all, for those of you who are still able to receive these messages on the internet, you'll know by now that the creatures are using our PDTs to proceed past security checkpoints. To prevent this, I have decided that each in, each in turn you'll proceed under armed guard to the primary surgery pod, where your PDTs will be removed. Once this is done, we will reprogram the security protocols so that they will target all creatures that still possess these tags. Do not answer the doors to your quarters unless confirmed by the designated password. Today that word is AGES. And last notice, emails, inbox and outbox, there's only one. From S. Dryson to all engineers about the situation. 
This is how it is. The unidentified substance is still spreading. It's fouled up engine ports D through G, and after a brief confab with the drive engineers, I can tell you that's, that it's having a detrimental effect on the efficiency and speed of the engines. The long and short of it is that the ship is seriously slowing down. The only thing accelerating is the speed of the fungal growth. Its origin is unknown, although we're narrowing it down. This is a crisis situation. Use the hardest stuff you can find to remove it from the fixtures and drive place without actually endangering the protective casing of the drive cores. Good luck guys. Steve Dryson, Chief Systems Engineer. So that is who he is. Uh, so there was a lot of information from that guy. Okay, let's uh, check the rest of this elaborate fan system out. 